Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to Summer Under the Stars on TCM. We're in the middle of a marathon of Robert Mitchum movies, and we're doing it on what would be Mitchum's 104th birthday. It's a Mitchum film noir trio tonight, two classic noirs bracketing the movie we have next. This is a neo-noir from 1975, an adaptation of a Raymond Chandler novel, Farewell, My Lovely. Mitchum's breakout role came in 1945, playing a well-respected officer in William Wellman's war film, The Story of G.I. Joe. But Mitchum's reputation was made playing enigmatic loners, tough guys with a soul in film noirs like our last movie, Out of the Past, from 1947, opposite Kirk Douglas and Jane Greer. Farewell, My Lovely plays on that classic Mitchum image. Coming 28 years after Out of the Past, it marked a return to the genre that made Mitchum famous. He plays Raymond Chandler's signature detective, Philip Marlowe. Chandler and Marlowe were having a bit of a renaissance in the 1970s with several updated takes on Chandler's classic L.A. mysteries. This particular story had been told on screen before, most memorably in Murder, My Sweet from 1944, starring Dick Powell. At the time, Powell was known primarily as a star of light, fluffy musicals, and RKO feared that using the original title, Farewell, My Lovely, might confuse audiences. So Farewell, My Lovely became Murder, My Sweet. There was no worry of audiences thinking Mitchum might be in a breezy musical, even though Robert Mitchum was a talented singer who had three top 100 songs hit the Billboard charts. Anyway, producers went with the original title. Mitchum stars as a private eye hired to find a missing woman. Along the way, he also finds a viper's nest of lies, deceit, and double crosses. Even at 58 years old, Mitchum retained the same magnetism he radiated in the 1940s and 50s. Critic Roger Ebert once called Mitchum the soul of film noir. Mitchum was less eloquent when discussing his career. He rarely gave an interviewer typical answers, and he often used language no paper would print or TV station could air. But... Late in his life, when asked to describe his long career, he responded in a manner befitting the characters he played. It sure beats working, he said. From 1975, also with Charlotte Rampling, Sylvia Miles, John Ireland, Harry Dean Stanton, and briefly, a young pre-Rocky Sylvester Stallone. This is Farewell, My Lovely. Robert Mitchum was consistently self-deprecating about his talent as an actor. You show up on time, he once said, and you do what the director tells you to do. He also claimed he had only two acting styles, with or without a horse. We all know better, and we're certainly not alone in suggesting that perhaps Mitchum's greatest talent was to make it all look so effortless. The title to a well-known Mitchum biography is wisely pulled from an actual quote of Mitchum's character in Out of the Past. The book is called Baby, I Don't Care. As he grew older, Mitchum continued to work. He received critical praise for two miniseries, The Winds of War from 1983 and its 1988 sequel, War and Remembrance. There was also a 1982 film, That Championship Season, and an extended cameo in Martin Scorsese's 1991 picture, Cape Fear, a remake of the 1962 classic starring Mitchum and Gregory Peck. When asked why his career flourished well into his 70s, Mitchum typically demurred. I work cheap, he said. Up next, we go back closer to Mitchum's heyday, a 1952 film noir co-starring Jane Russell and Gloria Grant.